Hey guys, this is James from RelationshipMarketingConversations.com and today I thought I'd show with you just a little bit about the anatomy of a great guest post. And I'm going to show you how to get more traffic, engagement through your guest posts and into your blog. So I thought I'd start this off by just going through one of my own guest posts and just kind of share with you kind of how I do my guest posts and why I do things the way I do when I do a guest post on somebody else's blog. So Eileen was really gracious enough to allow me to share this and I shared this post on how to start guest posting in your niche because when to guest post is often one of the problems that a lot of people face. So I found a problem that people face and have questions about and I included it here. Um, so I just introduced talking about what I'm going to talk about and then I go into answering questions. How much content do you need on your site? One of the biggest questions people ask. Uh, so I start talking about it and I talk about you know when you need to get posts and I talk about you know having at least 15 to 20 pages of content before you try to do a guest post. Now I do mention that I have been able to get a guest post with less content however it was because of the relationships I already had with those other bloggers through the other niche market. Um, so I go through the guest post and one of the things I have here is I have a link to another guest post I've done on another site and this helps me to promote that guest post as well. I always want to include at least one or two links internally for the blog that I'm guest posting on. And let's see here we've got a lot of tips and engagement but if you notice I don't have any posts or links to my own site in the post. I've left the links to my own site right here and it's going to my relationship marketing strategies blog and to my secrets profitable blogging free guide that I'm giving away right now on my site relationshipmarketingconversations.com so as I go through my guest post though I want to make sure that one of the critical things is I come in and I use all the social engagement here. So I've already tweeted it and actually several of those tweets are my own. I did it in Buffer, but it's already gone through. I've already Google Plus it, stumbled it, liked it on Facebook, and showed it on book post at Blog Engage. And these are really important doing all the social engagement to promote your guest post. Uh, one of the things I did too is right after I posted this, I went and did a blog commenting blast where I went and did about 20 or 30 comments. And instead of linking the comment links to my own site, I linked them back to this guest post on basic blog tips. That way I'm sending traffic and doing some promotion of my guest post. Now, a lot of people think of this as a bad thing, but remember, uh, Google is going to give this post more weight if there's more links coming to it. So I want to spend a little bit of time. I don't want to spend hours and hours and hours promoting my own guest post, but I do want to spend some time promoting that guest post and sending some traffic to it so that I can get things going. I also sent out an email to my email list uh, sharing this guest post with them, and I shared it on Google+, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere where I'm engaged with people in my niche, I've shared this guest post uh, with people so that they could find answers to those questions. Now the other thing is is coming back here. If you notice I have 57 comments on this post and almost half of those, not quite, but almost half of those are mine uh, because I'm coming in here and I'm replying to the comment. For one thing I'm able to use her comment love plugin and get links to my other posts. And this is a thing I see a lot of people failing to do is they just link to one thing in all of their comments. Instead Use that availability of comment love to link to different posts on your site. Let's see here, I have a different page here that I'm linking to, a different page here. I've actually got three different sites that I'm using in the links for my comments so that I'm get building links to multiple different properties and multiple different uh, pieces of content that are all still relevant to the information on this blog. So uh, this is another part of that is continuing to just come in and engage people. You know, somebody put a really great and insightful comment, so I just thank them really quickly. 
uh, for doing that. And I'm through. I just continue engaging in the content. This is, you know, the hardest part about guest posting, honestly, is making yourself available to reply to all the comments that are coming in. And so one of the things I do is I come in and I check it pretty regularly for about the first week that a new guest post is on. And I'll be back here checking it almost every day for the first week or so. And maybe then after that, I'll come back on occasion. I have another guest post over here that I did back in August that I still get new comments on. Uh, and so I go back and I check on the comments on that post every once in a while. And I respond to them and I try to link to them. I also su subscribe to my comments so that I get an email update every time that these posts get a comment on them and I get an email that lets me know. Sometimes when you have a lot of guest posts that email gets so flooded uh, that's why I do recommend setting up a separate email address for your guest posting uh, because you're going to get a lot of comments going and you're going to get uh, thousands of emails coming into your blog if you've got a lot of guest posts out there. Uh, with every comment you're getting. So try to utilize some of these tips and avoid some of the common mistakes. Uh, I just did a guest post over at Blog Engage about mistakes that you can make as well uh, when trying to get your guest post posted. So I really recommend you check out Blog Engage and check out my guest post there and I'll have a link to that on my blog. For more guest posting tips, I highly recommend you check out my new blog at RelationshipMarketingConversations.com and check out that link and see how I can help you to build better relationships through guest posting, social media, and engagement within your niche. Check out the new blog and we'll see you there. Have a great day and see you next time.